Choosing the right VM means sifting through so much information, right? Good news! In less than five minutes, you'll be able to stop sifting and start making moves. Compute Engine makes choosing the right virtual machine simple. Our VMs are organized by what you're optimizing for, like performance, flexibility, or storage. Let's dive into the details. All of our machine types fit into two categories, general purpose and specialized machine families. General purpose machines give you a balance of compute resources and features suitable for most applications. Specialized machines give you maximum performance for a specific resource type, like compute, memory, or GPUs. Within those two categories, there are several machine families, including E, N, C, H, M, X, Z, G, and A. But how do you make the right choice? Well, some families are a natural fit for an application type. And if there are multiple that fit, you can make trade-offs based on your optimization objective. Then, test, test, test. Here's an example. Let's say you're operating a database. After looking at our documentation, you see that N, C, and Z families are possible options. Then, you can simply compare them based on what you're optimizing for. N's custom shapes offer flexibility and control over exactly how much vCPU and memory you buy. C gives you the best performance and advanced maintenance features with near zero downtime. And Z would suit a storage-dense database that needs SSD. Let's say performance is your top priority, so you go with the C family. Pause here to check out our recommendations for each application type. Now it's time to choose the right VM type. To do this, it's helpful to understand how they're named. There are three parts to every name. Machine series, which tells you the category of machine. Machine type, each with a different CPU to memory ratio. And finally, CPU count. Next, you'll want to figure out how much CPU and memory you'll need. Getting this right, make sure you're not paying for resources you won't use. Take C4 Standard 16 for example. It'll give you 16 virtual CPUs and 60 gigabytes of memory. If the applications you're running use all of your CPU but only 30 gigabytes of memory, you're paying for memory you don't need. A high CPU machine type would give you the same CPU capabilities with less memory. If you're not sure, start by running something small. You can shift to a larger machine at any time. And you'll get right-sizing recommendations in console to improve each selection based on real-time usage patterns. A few other things you'll want to consider before settling on your VM. Reliability. Not all clouds are created equally, and Compute Engine offers the best single-instance compute availability SLA of any cloud provider. Disk performance. If your app needs the best disk IOPS, you need a VM that's compatible with either hyperdisk block storage or local SSDs, which are physically attached to your VM. Titanium. Titanium is a system of tiered scale-out offloads. It works by shifting networking and block storage tasks off your CPU, boosting performance and reliability even more. Security. You can encrypt data while it's being processed with confidential VMs, defend against rootkits and bootkits with shielded VMs. You can also meet stringent compliance standards for data residency, sovereignty, access, and encryption with assured workloads. Price and discounts. Finally, save money with discounts for committed use and by running jobs on our schedule with Spot VMs and Dynamic Workload Scheduler. You can learn more about these features on our website. And there you have it. Keep in mind as more machines are added, your options might change. Learn more about Compute Engine or get a pricing estimate by visiting these links. Until next time.